Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Freyhofer. Welcome to Medicine Matters. Today's topic, the best diet for weight loss. Should you go low carb, low fat, or Mediterranean? Here's the latest research for the New England Journal of Medicine. The new study compared the three diets. All promoted weight loss, however, dieters on the low carb diet or on the Mediterranean diet lost more weight. The low fat 1500 to 1800 calorie diet followed American Heart Association guidelines. Lots of grains, fruits, and vegetables, no more than 30% calories from fat, and of that, no more than 10% from saturated fat. Cholesterol was limited to 300 milligrams a day, and also watched the sweets and high fat snacks. The Mediterranean diet was high in vegetables, chicken, fish, and low in red meat. It's a moderate fat diet, which means no more than 35% calories from fat. It also contains more good fats, the monounsaturated fats, mostly from olive oil and a few nuts, but no more than five to seven nuts a day. It also had the most fiber. Calorie count was 1,500 to 1,800. Another plus for the Mediterranean diet, better glycemic control. It had the most favorable changes in fasting blood sugar and insulin levels. The low carb diet was modeled after the Atkins diet, and you guessed it, the study was partially funded by the Atkins Foundation. Calories were not restricted, and carbs were limited to 20 grams a day for the first two months, with a gradual increase to a max of 120 grams of carbs a day. Patients on the low carb diet were more likely to have ketones in their urine. However, they also had the greatest improvement in their lipids. To me, one of the most impressive aspects of the study is that people stuck with the diet for two years, but they had help. They went to meetings, they talked to dietitians on the phone, and they had access to a cafeteria with healthy choices. The cafeteria even had color-coded labels that corresponded to color-coded dots on the diet instructions to identify appropriate dishes. Whatever diet your patient may be on, one thing that can help with weight loss is a food diary. A new study in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine found that keeping a food diary may double your weight loss. The diary doesn't have to be elaborate. It can be as simple as making notes on a post-it. And finally, never forget about exercise. In the end, weight gain or loss is all about energy balance. The more calories you burn, the more weight you're likely to lose. What's your opinion? What do you think? Does this change what you'll tell your patients? Drop me a note on the Physician Connect discussion board because I want to hear from you. For Medicine Matters, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer.